scientists announced an earthquake may occur in California. The fault lines cracked up. So when you hear the word earthquake, what comes to mind? Most likely it's the notorious San Andreas fault, right? Well, today we're going to take a closer look at California, the beautiful state that attracts people with its relaxing vibes and breathtaking scenery. But hold on tight, because we have just received some shocking news that has sent tremors through California's fault lines, hinting at the possibility of an imminent earthquake. I can almost hear your racing thoughts. When will it strike? And how intense will it be? These are the burning questions that keep us up at night. But don't worry, we've got all the answers for you in this captivating video. But before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss out on exciting updates. Now, earthquakes can be downright terrifying, especially if you've never witnessed or experienced one. They bring immense devastation to lives and property, snatching away precious moments and costing millions of dollars in damages. Believe it or not, somewhere in the world, an earthquake of varying magnitude occurs every single day. However, most of these smaller quakes often go unnoticed in the news. It's the higher magnitudes, occurring about once a year, that grab our attention. Some places are simply more prone to earthquakes than others. One such place is the San Andreas Fault in California a renowned fault line stretching roughly 1,200 kilometers through this densely populated state. With nearly 39.2 million residents, California is the most populous state in the United States and the third largest in terms of area. And guess what? Every year, California experiences a few earthquakes with a magnitude of 5.5 or higher, which is substantial enough to cause moderate damage to structures. Given its notoriety, the San Andreas Fault has been the subject of extensive research by scientists. But what exactly is the fault? It's a discontinuity or fracture in the Earth's rock layers, where significant displacement has occurred due to movements of rock masses. Large faults are the result of immense forces exerted by tectonic plates. These forces release energy, which, you guessed it, triggers most earthquakes. Now, picture a fault line as the visible mapping of the fault on the Earth's surface. Faults come in two types, minor and major. Minor faults can be microscopic and go unnoticed by the naked eye, while major faults can extend for miles, just like the frightening San Andreas Fault. Speaking of which, the San Andreas Fault is a right lateral strike-slip transform fault. In simpler terms, it's a fault where the rocks on one side move horizontally past rocks on the other side. Fascinating, isn't it? The San Andreas Fault forms the boundary between the Pacific and North American plates, which are constantly on the move. The Pacific plate to the west of the fault moves northwest, while the North American plate to the east moves southwest, but relatively southeast under the influence of plate tectonics. On average, the plates slip past each other at a rate of about 33 to 37 millimeters annually across California. This movement creates compressional forces along the eastern side of the fault, giving rise to the stunning coast ranges. Meanwhile, the northwest movement of the Pacific Plate generates significant compressional forces, especially where it pushes against the North American Plate. This interaction has led to the formation of the transverse ranges in Southern California. Spanning from the Salton Sea in the south to Cape Mendocino in the north, the San Andreas Fault stretches across California, making it a prime location for earthquake activity. When the plates become locked together, pressure and stress build up until a rock breaks, and the plates suddenly slip, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. This sudden movement produces the shaking and trembling we experience during an earthquake. Scientists call this phenomenon elastic rebound. Here's an interesting fact. During an earthquake, tectonic plates are not solid. They are surprisingly elastic. This means that an earthquake occurs when the rocks and the Earth's crust deform elastically under stress and then suddenly release that stored energy, causing the ground to shake. The release of energy propagates as seismic waves, which can travel through the Earth's interior and along its surface. Now, let's go back to the San Andreas Fault. It is one of the most well-known and studied faults in the world. As a transform fault, it accommodates the horizontal movement between the Pacific and North American plates. 
The fault is segmented into several sections, and the behavior and activity can vary along its length. Scientists have been monitoring the San Andreas Fault closely to understand its behavior and the potential for future earthquakes. It is important to note that earthquakes cannot be predicted with precision. While scientists can estimate the likelihood of earthquakes occurring in certain areas based on historical data and the accumulation of stress, they cannot provide specific details regarding when and where an earthquake will happen or its exact magnitude. The San Andreas Fault has a long history of large earthquakes, with notable events occurring in the past, such as the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. These historical records, along with the geological and geophysical studies, help scientists assess the seismic hazard and potential impacts associated with the fault. It is known that the San Andreas Fault accumulates stress as the tectonic plates continue to move, and eventually, the stress is released during an earthquake. The fault is considered to be creeping in some areas, where the movement is relatively constant and gradual. However, in other segments, the fault is locked, meaning the stress is building up and could potentially lead to a larger earthquake when it is eventually released. The last major earthquake along the southern section of the San Andreas Fault occurred in 1857, known as the Fort Tejon Earthquake. This earthquake had an estimated magnitude of around 7.9. The central and northern sections of the fault have not experienced a similar sized earthquake in more than 300 years. While it is impossible to predict exactly when and where the next earthquake will occur, scientists continue to study the San Andreas Fault and other faults in California to improve their understanding of earthquake behavior and to enhance awareness and mitigation efforts. Public San Andreas Fault measures, such as the building codes and emergency response plans, are in place to help decrease the potential impacts of future earthquakes. Furthermore, public education and awareness play a vital role in earthquake preparedness. Organizations like the Federal Emergency Management Agency and local emergency management agencies distribute information and promote community readiness. They emphasize the importance of creating emergency kits, developing family emergency plans, and knowing the appropriate actions to take during an earthquake. It's crucial for everyone living in earthquake-prone areas to understand the potential risks and take necessary precautions. This includes securing heavy furniture and objects and practicing drop, cover, and hold-on techniques during an earthquake. While we cannot stop earthquakes from happening, we can certainly take steps to mitigate their impact and protect ourselves and our communities. So if you live or work in California, it's essential to stay informed about the latest developments in earthquake research and preparedness measures. By being proactive and taking appropriate actions, we can minimize the risks associated with earthquakes and ensure the safety of ourselves and our loved ones. So the San Andreas Fault is a prominent fault line in California known for its seismic activity. While it is impossible to predict precisely when and where the next earthquake will happen, ongoing research and monitoring helps scientists understand the fault's behavior and the potential risks associated with it. It is important for residents and visitors in earthquake-prone areas to be aware of earthquakes in the San Andreas Fault and follow plans to minimize the impacts of future events. That brings us to the end of this video. If you found the information valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Also, let us know your thoughts and experiences with earthquakes in the comments below. Stay safe, and until next time, take care.